had a crazy ass dream last night and it kind of was interesting because I wanted to rebook an Airbnb and I wasn't gonna because I could keep, I, I kept feeling, feeling Sebastian all around me energetically for the last week he'd been like well actually a couple weeks he'd been chasing me down in dreams and I was just thinking Union's coming in so I'm gonna get to stay with him that's like that's just like a thing we both agreed to is that we weren't really over I, I think deep down we both knew we weren't really over and um he had made a statement that he really wants me to live with him so I was like okay well I'm just going to assume that I'm getting the manifestation right now. And although manifestation is instant, in the 3D it does have to play out in a certain way to get you your thing. So I'm cool with however the 3D is bringing it in, which may be a bit of a delay. I don't know. It depends on what I want because I'm God. But lately, I've not been wanting... Um, like full-on commitment like I've been actually kind of wishy-washy I've been kind of wavering which I hate that I've been wavering but I have I've been working through my own issues my personal issues about romance and love and um like intimacy and stuff that's been something I've been working on and last night I had a dream and um it was so weird because he rejected me in the dream and it was so weird I woke up thinking like oh my god even my dreams are the 3d now <laughs> like it's really not I feel like your 4d the dream world the astral plane whatever wherever dreams are it's technically I don't think that's that's definitely not the 3d but um I remember thinking like holy shit now I have to now I have to ignore and dismiss my dreams too that come in all shitified like that because like it was weird it was like he he had changed he had turned into like somebody who was just like no thanks like I don't want to do this um I'd rather do this instead and I think what it is is it's just my my old thoughts playing out and my thoughts that used to be powerlessness and I find it very ironic that this dream happened right after I did a live stream talking about one of my exes that always took power from me because I, I allowed it. He kept me hidden and closeted and he, when I met him, I manifested him out of thin air and it took a really long time but I finally manifested the man that I had dreamt of for like 12 years and when I met him he was very spiritual um, and he told me that he had been um, actively shielding my energy, uh, cloaking my energy for decades, basically the whole time I've been alive, that he had been doing that. And he admitted to that, not Sebastian, a different man. And um, it was just really um, strange to witness because I didn't realize that that was the reason I couldn't be in these relationships was because there was a very high spiritual priest, a high priest that was cloaking my energy for his own selfish gain and so that I could just be his energy wise. Um, I had to break free from him. I'm glad I did. I was homeless for three months because, well, I still am technically homeless, but um, three months so far to get free from him and mentally I'm free from him now um, but it is ironic because I did a live stream like this morning at like 2 in the morning or something because I was crying and I was sad and I was going through an ego death and I knew I knew that Sebastian's love is a, is a free a free love it's a love that makes me want to be better um, it's not confining it's not heavy, it's not dense, it doesn't expect anything, it is real true unconditional love. And after that live stream, that's when I had the dream of Sebastian. And in the dream, we were talking and and I remember trying to get close to him and he just like rejected me, like pushed me away and I was like, wait, what? And I woke up just feeling so 
bewildered like wait what that's not what i'm manifesting that's not what i see constantly in my mind's eye <laughs> like that's not what i see in imagination like i definitely when i was with him too like that's not what i saw i didn't see rejection i i never got rejected by him ever so for that to be what's happening it's like i think it's an old story that's being pushed out and though in the 3d you're gonna see proof and results of what your subconscious mind thinks you can also see it in dreams too and so it's an old thought pattern of rejection it's an old thought pattern of i'm not enough and so i woke up and i felt like wow like i really have to be okay with how i am even if no one is even if the love of my life that i want more than anything even if he rejects me really and i and this is where it really gets scary you have to be like even if i'm rejected by the man that i am absolutely head over heels for which wouldn't be the first time there's a reason my ex is my ex he rejected me he didn't want me i had to want me and he didn't want me he wanted my energy supply and with sebastian it was like wait what you don't want me and he was just like you know hey like don't don't really i don't i don't want that i don't want that and and it was just like wow it, it is a trigger for me and i'd been rejected so many times by men my whole life but here's the thing it really is an opportunity to look at myself and be like i don't reject you if he can't love you for you honey i'm gonna love you for you like even if this is the man of your dreams even if you think it's your soulmate even if you think he's your one and only it doesn't matter if he doesn't love you i will i can love you better and and to really to know that guys like to to know that you're beautiful the way you are your personality your your mood swings like any mental issues you have like your body you know what I mean? Like, if, you, if you're plus size like me, like, you have to really own that before the 3D world will. You have to own it. You are beautiful the way you are. And you are the new beauty standard. Like, in your reality, you are the beauty standard. And so, yeah, in the dream, he just, like, pushed me away. And I was like, wait, what? Wait, why? why? And it was just so shocking that I woke up and was, like, dazed and confused. I was like, what the fuck? what the fuck like that's not what i what like that's not what i've been manifesting that's not what he and i are about rejection like if anything it's the opposite there's so much acceptance between us um and and it was just like i had to go within and be like okay that's the old story if it's not what i want it's the old story if it's not what I see in my imagination, it's the old story, right? Like, if it's not perfect, it's not done yet. <laughs> if it's not God, if it's not good, it's not done. And so even if it's a dream, I don't give a shit if it's a dream. How many times have you had bad dreams about your manifestation? Probably a lot of times. It doesn't mean you're not getting your manifestation, it just means that your subconscious mind has been impressed enough to give you a dream about your the subject of manifestation. It's just that you you gotta focus on what it is you do want. Don't don't get tripped up. Cause this is no different than the 3D trying to convince me that he's not interested in some way. Like not calling me back or texting me right away or whatever. It's so stupid. And I see it now. I see it for what it is. I mean, I guess I would think the importance of it is greater because it came from a dream, but it's not more important. If it were a dream or in the 3D, it doesn't fucking matter. If he rejected me, that's not the reality I want, is it? So I need to ignore it, bypass my 3D, bypass these, these conditions and be like, wait, no, <laughs> we're literally together. 
were happily in a committed relationship, so you would never reject me. Duh. Duh, you don't reject me. This is my reality. So, but another thing, it really does make you grow because it makes you look at yourself and be like, if every man on the planet, honey, every single guy that exists, and woman, if every 8 billion people on the planet just suddenly were like, mm, no, I, I don't like you. I don't like what you're about. I'm sorry. I just, I can't like you. Like, would you still love you? It's a real challenge to ask yourself that question. Like, could you really still love you? Of course, it would hurt, right? It would hurt. That's a lot of people hating you. A lot of people not even hating you, just being like, eh, you're not my cup of tea. But could you love you? Could you literally every day look at yourself in the mirror, and I mean love you, and be like, you know what? You're sexy. I love your... I love your mind. I love your smile. I love your eyes. I love your body. I love what you're about. I love your personality. Could you love you when other people don't? And finally, for me, the switch was easy. I went from, oh man, guys, like, he's, dude, I don't know, it's, it feels like we're going backwards, to, wait a minute, fuck that, wait, fuck that. Wait, what? No, I don't fucking think so. That was cute. Absolutely not. This is my reality, and I'm a sexy bitch. And I get what I want, and I do not get rejected. I don't get rejected by the one man that I actually want? I don't think so. No, that's not how it works. So I had to see it as it's a, like a trick of my mind in a way. It's a trick of the 3D. It's a fucking lie of the devil, honey. And that shit's not going. It's not going to stick. And you have to get over it. You have to see the 3D oppose you and be like, okay, and? Okay. So what? Uh, and what? That was one reality. Okay. It was real. Yes, it happened. It was a reality. I saw it. I heard his words. I heard him reject me. And? I don't reject me. And? <laughs> and you get to a point, too, where you're like, shit, I'm the creator of all of this. I'm... I'm the operant power. I'm God of my reality. Like, if you don't want me, there's the door, buddy. Like, you don't have to force anybody to love you. You know what I mean? Like, you're not forcing anyone. And this is another thing. People think that you're, like, controlling someone, like, mind controlling someone by manifesting them. You're not. You're shifting to a reality where you already have that person. Infinite realities exist. So there's already a reality where you have your person. If it didn't exist, you wouldn't have a desire to have them. So it was like, I kept seeing this version that's all about me. And he's 100% like, we're in it to win it. Like our connection is so good. It's so strong, right? And then this shit shows up. I don't think so. I don't think so. So now even dreams can be deceiving. Like if you, if you thought the 3D was tough to maneuver shit like even your dreams can be blatantly going against your own manifestation <laughs> i didn't know that until now well i mean i guess i could i didn't know it I, I didn't i didn't know that your own fucking dreams could try to sabotage you ignore it who cares who fucking cares it's one reality one out of an infinite number of realities i don't give a shit what they say what the 3D says. I don't care. I am shifting to a reality where he's already madly in love with me. And that's it. And my thoughts have to align with that version of reality. Do you think that my thoughts, if they were aligned with the reality that we're married, would be saying, oh, but he rejected me, guys. Like, he didn't want me. Like, I made a pass at him and he was like, don't. I don't want you. Oh, can't believe he did that guys no my husband would not be saying that my husband would not be able to keep his hands off me and he would be so intrigued by my mind it would turn him on every two seconds okay so we need to think thoughts from that reality don't think thoughts from the one that you don't want and the thoughts that i could think today would be i wonder why he did that 
oh man, does he not find me attractive? Like, are we not compatible? Is this a waste of time? Should I move on? Like, am I really pretty? Am I, am I loved by him? And I, I could go down a rabbit hole, but I could see it as just a challenge. And I love challenges. Challenge accepted, bitch. It's the 3D world challenging me. It's the 3D. It's, it's the trick of the devil. I'm telling you. <laughs> All you have to do is think from the state of having the thing that you want. Once you see the thing you don't want, get back into alignment. And think thoughts from the state of having what you do want. The real trick here is knowing what you do want. Because you're going to see a hell of a lot what you don't want. What is it you do want? Because when you see that, that is proof positive that you're going to get your shit because your soul is aligned with whatever intention you've just set. So know what it is you do want. Most of us have to go to rock bottom and see what we don't want. Being rejected by him? Oh, hell no. That's what I don't want. So what do I want? right? I want to, I want to be spoiled and I want him all over me and I want, I want to be a top priority and I want affection and intimacy and I want him to know my mind and to get to know me and what my wants are, my desires, right? So, so, so you have to live from that, think thoughts from there. Just see it as course correction. It's a good thing. All right, it's a good thing to be told no in the universe. When the matrix tell you tells you no, you tell it. I'm sorry, bitch. Did I stutter? I didn't think so. I didn't fucking stutter. I get what I want. Don't tell me no, bitch. I own you. I run you. <laughs> I run the 3D. I run this matrix. Did I did I stutter? I didn't think so. You will be giving me what I want, and that's it. Force the universe's hand be so brazenly impudent that no one and nothing, including your own fucking dreams, can tell you that you don't have what you want. Not only do you have what you want, but you're the only one that's going to determine that. Have a good day, guys.